Hi guys, so good afternoon and welcome back to my magical world. I am Frostbite and today is May, May 17, 2023 and it's Wednesday. Um, I put it this way kasi medyo magulo yung hair ko. And currently it's 3.51 in the afternoon so we're going to proceed. <coughs> we're going to proceed reading. Okay, so dun sa last na natapos natin, we just focus on here because I am mentally and physically exhausted, tired, and I'm not really okay. So, you know, bad trip pa din ako. <laughs> Ma matagal maalas yung kabad tripan ko, guys. So, ganun talaga. Kaya bawal ako galit dun, diba? Sinabi ko na sa inyo, bawal akong ginagalit. So, true for a human activities, whenever I took our hunting dog, Hussar, for a walk in the open fields, he liked to play a very simple game, the prototype of the most culturally widespread game of human children, Escape and Pursuit. So he would run circles around me at the top speed with his tongue hanging out and his eyes warily watching every move I made, daring me to catch him. Occasionally, I would, I would take a lunge and if I was lucky, I got to touch him. So now the interesting part is that whenever I was tired and moved half-heartedly, Hussar would run much tighter, tighter circles, making it relatively easy for me to catch him. So on the other hand, if I was in good shape and willing to extend myself, he would enlarge the diameter of his circle. In this way, the difficulty of the game was kept constant. So with an uncanny sense for the fine balancing of challenges and skills, he would make sure that the game would yield the maximum of enjoyment for us both. So, ayan guys, nasa ibang location ako ngayon. So, I, I went back here. <laughs> Dito ako sa friend ko. So, actually they have an event here also. Like, you know, a provincial event. Yeah, it's fiesta dito guys. <laughs> so... Uh, the, uh, we have a subtopic here, so the merging of action and awareness when all, a, when all a person's relevant skills are needed to cope with the challenges of a situation, that person's attention is completely absorbed by the activity. There is no excess psychic energy left over to process any information but what the activity offers. So all the attention is concentrated on the relevant stimuli. As a result, one of the most universal and distinctive features of optimal experience takes place. So people become so involved in what they are they are doing that the activity becomes spontaneous, almost automatic. They stop being aware of themselves as separate from the actions they are uh, performing. So a dancer describes how it feels when a performance is going well. Your concentration is very complete. Your mind isn't wandering. You are not thinking of something else. You are totally involved in that you are doing. Your energy is flowing very smoothly. You feel relaxed, comfortable, and energetic. So that's what that's what the, you call uh, um, the flow state. So you know, guys. So you really have to immerse yourself. You know, physically, consciously, subconsciously in one thing. For example, right here, right now, you're listening to me. The focus should be on me, guys, because I focus on you. So, um, you really have to like, uh, like dive deep on what you are saying and fully immerse yourself on what you are talking or who are you talking to. So, it's really important to, to do that all the time, to have that long attention span. Diba? Kasi you are, uh, we are designed nowadays to have short attention span and you really can't blame anyone right now kasi it's, it's what the world wants to it's somehow, somehow it's a collective uh, a decision kasi diba, we are patronizing uh, fast face motion, emotion <laughs> lahat guys actually, so make sure to be really, uh, be fully present, for example right now, you really have to take a deep breath as you watch me guys diba, so a rock climber explains how it feels when he is scaling a mountain, you are so involved in what you are doing that you aren't thinking of yourself as separate from the immediate act Activity. So you don't see yourself as separate from what you are doing. So I've I've tried this. I've had I've already done this multiple times. And I'm not really posting pictures, but yeah. So I've already acquired many many mountains before. Not just the mountain. It's it's the second of the tallest mountains here in the Philippines. So Mount Pulak and all the other mountains, pa guys. Uh, the other the other else are not named because it's like it's a rush thing, diba?
So, it's a rush, it's unexpected, but many mountains na talaga, guys. So, hindi na ako pwedeng kwentuhan ng mga ganyan-ganyan. So, a mother who enjoys the time spent with her small daughter, her reading is one of uh, the things that she really that she's really into and we read together. So, she reads to me and I read to her and that's a simple and that's a time when I sort sort of lose touch with the rest of the world. I am totally absorbed in what I am doing. So, a chess player tells of playing in a tournament tournament the concentration and the next page so to continue concentration is like breathing you never think of it the roof could fall fall in and uh, if you if it missed you you would you would be unaware of it so ganun nga, uh, intense concentration so it is for the reason that we call the optimal experience flow the short and simple word describes well the sense of seemingly effortless movement the following words from a poet and a rock climber applied to all of the thousands of interviews collected by us and by others over the years so the mystic of rock climbing is climbing you get to the top of rock glad it's over but really wish it could it would go on forever so the justification of the climbing is climbing, like the justification of poetry is writing. You don't conquer anything except things in yourself. The act of writing justifies poetry. Climbing is the same, recognizing that you are a flow. So the purpose of the flow is to keep on flowing, not looking for a peak or a utopia, but staying in the flow. It is not a moving up, but a continuous flowing. You move up to keep... You move up to keep the flow going. There is no possible reason for climbing except the climbing itself. So it is a self-communication. Although the flow experience appears to be effortless, it is far from being so. It often requires strenuous physical exertion of highly disciplined mental activity. It does not happen without the application of skilled perfor performance. Any lapse in concentration will erase it. So, and yet while it lasts consciousness works smoothly action follows action seem seamlessly in normal life we could uh we keep interrupting what we do with doubts and questions so why am i doing this should i perhaps be doing something else repeatedly we question the necessity of our actions and evaluate critically the reasons for carrying them out but in flow there's no need to reflect but because the action carries us forward as if by magic. The subtopic here are clear goals and feedback. So the reason it is possible to achieve such complete involvement in a flow experience is that the goals are usually clear and the feedback immediate. immediate. So a tennis player always knows what she has to do, return the ball into the opponent's court. And each time she hits the ball, she knows whether she has done well or not the chess player's goals are equally obvious to mate the opponent's king before his own is mated with each move he can calculate whether he has come closer to his objective the climber itching up a vertical wall or off rock has a very simple goal in mind to complete the climb without falling every second hour Every second, hour after hour, he receives information that he is meeting that basic goal. Of course, if one chooses a trivial goal, success in it, in it does not provide enjoyment. If I set as my goal to remain alive while sitting on the living sofa, I also could spend days knowing that I was achieving. So thank you guys for listening and thank you for helping me make this world a better place for all of us and for the future generation. Marami pang gagawin and I have to finish things, a lot of things. So, may mga bisita din. So, yun na nga guys. So, I'll see you again. So, I hope you are having like a wonderful uh, mid-May. So, sige na guys. Um, take care. Bye.